All right, we're going to go ahead. We finished up lesson 5-2. Uh, hopefully you could hear the last couple of steps before the afternoon announcements came on over the speaker, and I had to take a pause for an FBLA meeting. So we're going to take a look at embedding iframes. Uh, this one, there's, again, a video, a quiz, an example, and then we're going to jump down. So, again, when you're doing this, you should watch the video. You should take the quiz. You should look at the examples. Uh, these videos are just to help you with the tasks where you have to complete something, the exercises. All right, so this particular example, if I look at the directions, it says embed the Wikipedia website onto your web page. Use the URL, our Wikipedia all right, style your iframe so that the embedded page has a height of 350 and a width of 450. All right, be sure to include your style in the head of your web page. Okay, so then it says for security reasons, you only be allowed to embed website URLs that start with HTTPS. Okay, some sites. Okay, so to do this one, I'm going to go ahead and link the style and get used to doing this. We're going to do this with every page we make going forward. So again, it's a link, REL equals... Style sheet type XCSS and href is going to equal style.css. All right, we link that and then we want to embed the iframe. All right, so I did not just watch the video, but that would have helped me if I did. But I'm going to go look at docs and see if I have information about an iframe. which it probably is down here. It says lists. All right, so embedding an iframe, here we go. So I'm gonna copy this code and I'm going to if it'll let me, I'm using my laptop and the mouse is not wanting to cooperate, so I'll try it again. All right, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste, <clears throat> excuse me, and my assignment, I'm going to change those dimensions, so width of 350, so I'm just going to change the width, the height of 450. Right, and I am going to change the site to Wikipedia. org okay then I can look at my output and there I can see Wikipedia is now embedded in an iframe all right so I'm going to save submit and continue it says check the iframe has the correct dimension so again it said 350 I might have gotten the width and the height backwards let me double check yes yeah, so I got those backwards so that should be 450 and the height should be 350. Sorry about that. That's why we check. Uh, save. All right, and we're ready to move on to the next exercise. All right, this one we're going to embed a video. All right, now the cool thing is I embedded a video, or I used the iframe tag, so I'm going to just repeat that. I'm going to link the video right here. I'm going to copy and just replace the URL. And we'll see if it gives me dimensions that it wants. Okay. So let's see if that works. It may not. I may have to go to YouTube and get the video. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get the embed code from YouTube, which is an easier way of going about doing it. So let me open this in a new tab. Okay, so we have that video. We're gonna come down here to the share area and we're gonna get the embed code. And we're going to copy that. So that's actually the easier way to do it anyway. So with YouTube videos, very easy to embed an iframe. Again, you click on share with the video, select the embed option, 
and then it gives you the whole offering code. All right, so let's save that. Let's refresh. All right, and there we go. Our video is embedded. We can submit and continue. All right, and then now the career site include outside information. So it says copy all your files from the career site from the last lesson. Um, this one, you're starting to fill out more information. So this one's kind of gives some steps about what to do in job info. We're going to add an H3 header at the bottom, but above the link. All right, this has detailed information. So let's just kind of jump in. All right, so this is where it is uh, kind of aggravating. It wants us to jump back a lesson and copy. So this is where if you're doing this from this point forward, I would highly suggest creating your files in VS Code um, and have them there. And then that way you can just save them locally. And then when you get to the next level in the project, you can just copy and paste your code over. Um, I did not do that. So I'm going to pause right here because um, so I've got a student that does not understand when my door is shut. I'm possibly working and they're banging on my door. So um, maybe we need to do a lesson on manners for folks out there in the hallway. Um, but I will um, kind of work with you individually if you need help on this. This one should be pretty straightforward, but I'll try to post another video when I get a chance. Okay.